If I get a commission where I need to do a countertop or a tabletop or a range hood, I'll take sheet metal, copper, perfectly flat, clean and straight, and this little contraption I built here is what puts all the, the hammer marks in to make it look old and a little more textured. This is something you can't buy, and I made it. Um, it just makes the process go a whole lot quicker and easier as opposed to having to hold the hammer all day long. I've been doing metal sculpture for about 35 years. Um, I started because I like to build things and make things and play. Once I get the sheet of copper hammered to the texture that I want, then we have to anneal it. To anneal it, you got to use a lot of heat, and we'll do it in a section at a time, and it'll bring up colors in the copper. Each color represents a temperature, and the thing is, if you try for a specific color, you want a specific color, whether it's the purple, the blue, the yellow, the green, whatever, if you want that color, once you achieve that color, it's too late. It's going to continue to get hot, and that color is going to go away. So you have to anticipate that color that you might want. Now that I've heated the copper, I have to cool it to get the carbon off. And once it's done, it'll be nice and soft again. The Scavestrin Gallery of Art in Oldenburg, Indiana is a great place to visit to see various pieces of art that Chaz has completed. quite an array of things that I have done. I've built uh, large fountains, bronze fountains for a rising sun. It's 14 feet tall, stainless steel in their structure. A finish that you can do on copper, if you live in a place like I live and it doesn't turn green and you want it to, the old coppersmiths had a method of doing that overnight with different kinds of urine from different animals. And I do repose, which is what I currently do mostly. It's just the art of manipulating metal, bringing it forward from a piece of flat metal to a, a two-dimensional shape. To finally quit on a project and to say it's finished and be happy with it is probably one of the harder things to do. You can always tweak it. You can always mess with it and refine it and detail it. And you can take it too far too. So you really need to know when it's done and call it quits and just, and just be good with it. My favorite piece would probably be of my father who passed away about nine years ago. And uh, him and my dog were the best friend, so I got a picture of the two of them together. It's in my office. To be an Indiana artisan uh, means the world because you have been chosen by your peers and people who know and understand art very well, and you have to be juried in. You have to submit your art you have to, they have to judge it, they have to decide that if you're good enough, and if you're good enough, you get the stamp of Indian Artisan. So it means a great deal. That's a, that's a really, really good honor.